We've hacked into the enemy mainframe. Okay, so now what? Shall I copy or transmit it? They've already entered the manual override code. The partitions are being deleted. Hurry up and start your transmission. Roger. You just clear your head out and wait for me. I tell you, being able to interlink with your sister has got it real convenient. I wouldn't say that. She has so many random thoughts. I can't help it. We're humans, not realians. You can telepathically talk to the Kaiser, right, little master? That sounds a lot more convenient to me. You don't need this annoying contraption, either. Not really. I have to constantly make sure I watch what I'm thinking. Or else I start sending thoughts I don't want to send. The whole thing's just as tiring as hell. It'd be easier just to write him a letter. Oh, I didn't know it was like that. Yep, that's how it is. <laughs> you okay, Mary? Yeah, I'm all right, but look what you did. Oh. I'm sorry to say that all data from the enemy mainframe has been lost. Oh, oops. It's because of all those cheesy action flicks you keep on watching. They've launched a lifeboat. Shall we pursue? Nah, no need to pursue them that far. We just need to know where they're headed. Place a trace request with the UMN Administration Bureau. Let's head back. Hurry up with the retrieval preparations on board the Durandal. All hands, check your equipment. Don't leave any evidence behind. Amazing. I can't believe how much his personality changes when he's holding a gun. A lust for conquest and absolute power, and the desire to have a really big gun. I suppose that'd be the standard explanation. <laughs> you don't hold back, do you, Shelly? Although, in Little Master's case, it's probably just a complex about his height. <laughs> probably, but I think Little Master's plenty attractive just the way he is. <laughs> True. Mary, we'll be leaving in two minutes. Hurry back, okay? Roger. It's a shame. Little Master doesn't have any choice in the matter but to stay that size. Commander Cherenkov was here with you. What's the matter? Well, he skipped dinner again, so I've been looking for him. Did you check outside? He mentioned something about finding a charter flight. Wait a minute. Wearing that uniform? Yeah. Oh, that's bad. Mm -hmm. This area was abandoned by the government and never properly restored after the war. The people here haven't forgotten how violent the military was, though. It's no place for a soldier to be wandering around. Is it really that dangerous here? Well, it's fine if you're a civilian.
Well, in that case, we better go find him before anything happens. Yeah, you're right. I'll go get Ziggy. He'll probably come in handy at a time like this. All right. I'll go with Alan, then. He doesn't look very useful, though. Yeah. 
Federation, scum! Shion, we must get these people to a hospital at once. They're still alive, but barely hanging on. I'll... I'll, I'll go call an ambulance. <laughs> this is terrible. Wh where's Commander Cherenkov? I'm detecting a faint heat signature heading toward the dock. It most likely belongs to the Commander. Commander... That's enough! But, Commander! Are you okay? Yeah. What happened? I got cornered by some, uh, street punks. But they started fighting amongst each other, so I ran away during the commotion. You got cornered? It, it's all right. It's really not that bad. That's not true. I've been trying to treat his injuries, but he won't let me. I'm sorry. It's just... I'm not a big fan of nanosurgery. You prefer natural healing? No, that... That's not what I mean. Momo, I need your help over here. I haven't had a tune-up since the battle on Proloma. Some of my parts may be a little worn out. Okay. All systems are working within their normal parameters. I'm behind on my regular maintenance. This body's getting pretty old. Not at all. But you know, you may be better off if Shion were to look you over. You may find this funny. But even with a body like this, I still feel uncomfortable about a young woman working on me. But there are plenty of human female doctors, aren't there? Well, I'm embarrassed of this patchwork mechanical body. I'm being silly, aren't I? But... you're all right with me because I'm not human? That's not what I meant. It's just that I feel comfortable around you, but that's probably because... because of the purity of your heart. And not because I see you as an object. Thank you. I'm so glad. How I envy you. Huh? 
Uh, no, it's, uh, it's, it's nothing. I wonder if the Commander's really all right. He's been acting strangely ever since we boarded the Elsa.
Too late. Ultimately, the choice is up to him. But you... You may be able to understand him in his final moments. Indeed, that will bring him comfort. force is affecting the ship from outside hyperspace. What does that mean? Something is trying to come into contact with the ship. If this persists, we will be dragged out of hyperspace. What's this? A sense? Huh? What? Inside a gnosis. 
Oasis? Huh? To be more specific, we are located at the approximate center of a giant Gnosis. This Gnosis is nearly 16,000 kilometers in diameter. To date, the only Gnosis of this size on record is the one named Cathedral Ship. Does that mean we were eaten? That may not be far from the truth. I don't sense any activity from the Gnosis outside. It's almost as if they're sleeping. Hey, what about the Elsa? Where's the captain and everyone else? Hopefully they too are alive, and in here somewhere. What is it, Cosmos? My sensors have picked up a signal. A signal? Is it the Elsa? Yes, and something else near it. Although it is faint, I am picking up a waveform similar to the Zohar that was taken from the Woglinde. The Zohar? You mean that gold-colored object that was in the hangar? That thing's here? How far is the Elsa from here? Approximately 10 kilometers from our current position. Not too far. Stay here or find the Elsa. I'm worried about Alan and the others. Hmm. Looks like we have no choice. This can't be real. Am I dreaming? Or... It's not possible. Ariadne vanished when the Zohar went out of control. In Section D, distorted wave patterns detected in the quarantine hangar. Sector D? Is it the Zohar? Raising a trapped inhibitor output in all Sector D compartments. UMN traffic detected across EPR radar. Something's beaming resonant waves through hyperspace. Where is it? Searching for signal source. It must be resonating with whatever's out there. Prepare to gate jump! Mary, alert the Foundation! We're gonna follow it. Roger. Thank <laughs> you. 
Target locked on. Commencing combat. So this is a cathedral ship. It does feel like we're inside a ship, but it certainly doesn't look like anything that belongs to the Federation. Could it be an alien ship? I wonder. Look, over there. What is it? A sign or something? Hey, it's written in English. But this is odd. It doesn't look like it's stuck on the wall. Doesn't it look more like a part of the wall itself? Are you saying this sign is part of the Gnosis? How could that be? Take a look around. That's not the only one. There's a lot of other stuff here too. Are we... really inside a Gnosis? Hurry! He'll be gone soon! What, did you find something? Huh? Uh, no. No, it, it's, it's nothing. That girl again. What does she have to do with this place? At this time, the defendant's origins are unknown. That information was lost in the chaos of war, perhaps deliberately, I might add. It could be said that the circumstances surrounding the defendant actually qualify him as a victim of the life recycling law. Therefore, is it right for him to be the first victim of a capital punishment system that had been abandoned for thousands of years? It's true that the defendant must pay for his crimes. But with all the progress we've made in science and the study of the human psyche, Surely there must be alternative means by which he can repay society? Please, I ask you to make a merciful and wise decision. This court hereby sentences the defendant, Andrew Cherenkov, to undergo Level 7 personality reconditioning. With this ruling, the current you will cease to exist. But it also marks the birth of a brand new world for you. Let us celebrate, shall we? What is the meaning of this? Why can't we have a child of our own? Oh, stop it. What could you want to leave behind? Don't tell me you want that abnormal DNA of yours to live on. Nanotechnology is hardly perfect, you know. It still can't correct mutations in genomes. Are you saying this is my fault? <laughs> You're pathetic. A bit of nucleic acid desperately clinging to life. You haven't changed one bit since then. But of course, that's what makes you, you. But then... Why did you marry me? For this. Do you know how hard I worked for this permit? That's why I volunteered to care for you. 
What? Did you think there was love between us? Please, don't kid yourself. I can get all the love I need with this. <clears throat> Don't forget to take your meds. After all, I'm the one who'll be held responsible if you don't. with Federation law, the defendant will now undergo level 8 personality reconditioning. With this, defendant 12584's human rights shall be revoked, and henceforth the defendant shall be treated as a life form belonging to the Federation. According to current law, this treatment grants the bearer the same rights and privileges as those of a realian. I must admit, I've never seen such a stubborn neural network. He's even rejected the level 8 procedure. In any case, he's still quite valuable to us. We can use him as a test subject for the level 9 procedure. So you're the man who murdered every worker in this facility, and annihilated three squads of Federation Special Forces. I was looking forward to meeting you. But you... You look like a poor little stray. Is this really your handiwork? A life recycling variant. No wonder the Federation police couldn't handle you. I'll commend you for that. However... <laughs> Reality is cruel, is it not? Commander Margulis, the 308th Volgata Division is... I know. We're taking him with us. Sir! You're not serious. Yes, this one may be useful. But... All you ever wanted in life was to leave behind a legacy. Isn't that right? Now show me the proof of your existence. To me alone. 